Snails are fascinating creatures belonging to the mollusk phylum and are easily recognized by their coiled shells and slow, gliding movement. Found in a wide variety of habitats, from deep ocean floors and freshwater streams to dense forests and garden soils, snails have adapted to survive in almost every corner of the world. These soft-bodied invertebrates use a muscular foot to move and often leave behind a trail of mucus that helps them glide smoothly over surfaces. They possess a unique, rasping tongue called a radula, used to scrape or cut food. Some snails are herbivores, while others are scavengers or even predators. With over 60,000 known species, snails display an incredible diversity in size, shape, color, and lifestyle. Despite their often slow pace, they play important ecological roles such as decomposers, soil aerators, and even indicators of environmental health. Their intriguing biology and beautiful shell designs continue to captivate scientists, collectors, and nature enthusiasts alike. Here are seven enthralling snail species from around the world, each fascinating in its own unique way. The giant African land snail, Ocatina ocatina, is one of the largest and most well-known terrestrial snail species in the world. Native to West Africa, particularly Ghana, these snails can grow up to 30 centimeters, about 12 inches, in length and weigh over 1 kilogram. Their large, conical shells are typically brown with darker bands, making them quite distinctive. These snails are herbivorous and feed on a wide range of plant materials, which makes them a serious agricultural pest in many countries where they've been introduced. Due to their high reproductive rate and adaptability, they are considered invasive in several regions outside their native range. Despite their pest status, they are also kept as exotic pets in some countries and are studied for their impressive size and biological traits. Tree snails Pardula spp. are small, colorful land snails that inhabit the tropical rainforests of the Pacific Islands, particularly in places like French Polynesia. These snails are arboreal, meaning they live in trees, where they feed on algae, fungi, and decaying plant matter found on leaves and bark. Tree snails are known for their beautifully patterned and often brightly colored shells, which vary greatly among species. Sadly, many Partula species have become critically endangered or even extinct due to the introduction of predatory species like the rosy wolf snail, Euglandina rosia, which was originally brought into control invasive snails but instead decimated native snail populations. Conservation efforts, including captive breeding programs and habitat protection, are ongoing to try to save the remaining species of these delicate and ecologically important snails. The Roman snail, Helix pomidia, also known as the burgundy snail or escargot, is a large, edible land snail native to Europe. It has a rounded, creamy brown shell with subtle bands and can grow up to 5 cm in diameter. This species thrives in forests, vineyards, and gardens, preferring moist, calcium-rich soil. Roman snails are slow-moving herbivores that feed on a variety of plants and decaying vegetation. They are well known for their role in French cuisine, particularly as a delicacy in escargot dishes. Despite their culinary value, Roman snails are protected in several countries due to habitat loss and overharvesting. Their life cycle includes a fascinating mating ritual and the ability to hibernate during colder months, making them a unique and ecologically significant species in their native habitats. The Cuban painted snail, Palomita picta, is widely considered one of the most beautiful snail species in the world. Endemic to eastern Cuba, this land snail is famous for its brilliantly colored, glossy shells that feature vivid spirals of red, yellow, green, orange, pink, or purple, often in striking combinations. No two shells look exactly alike, making each individual unique. These snails live in humid forest habitats and feed on algae, fungi, and lichen found on tree bark. Unfortunately, their dazzling beauty has made them a target for illegal shell collecting, putting their populations at risk. Conservation efforts are now in place to protect this stunning and ecologically valuable species. The rabbit snail, Tylomelania spp, is a unique freshwater snail native to the lakes of Sulawesi, Indonesia. It is easily recognized by its long, cone-shaped shell, which can come in various earthy tones like brown, black, or yellow. 
What truly sets this species apart is its soft body, which features an extended snout and long antennae, giving it a rabbit-like appearance, hence the name. Unlike many snails, rabbit snails give birth to live young rather than laying eggs, a fascinating trait among mollusks. Peaceful and slow-moving, they are popular in freshwater aquariums for their algae-eating habits, gentle nature, and exotic look. The heath snail, Helicella edula, is a small terrestrial snail native to parts of Europe, commonly found in dry, open habitats such as grasslands, heaths, and coastal dunes. Its shell is pale whitish or yellowish with fine brown spiral bands, typically low-spurred and relatively flat in shape. This snail thrives in sun-exposed areas with sparse vegetation and calcareous soils. Though not as colorful as some other snails, the heath snail plays an important role in the ecosystem by aiding in the breakdown of decaying plant material. It's also valuable for biodiversity monitoring, as changes in its population can reflect shifts in habitat quality or climate conditions. The amber snail, Succinia putris, is a small, delicate land snail known for its translucent, amber-colored shell that allows some visibility of its soft body inside. It typically inhabits damp environments such as marshes, riverbanks, wetlands, and moist grasslands across Europe and parts of Asia. This snail prefers areas with abundant vegetation and is often found on leaves and stems near water. Despite its fragile appearance, the amber snail plays a vital ecological role by helping to decompose organic matter and recycle nutrients. It is also used in environmental studies, as its sensitivity to pollution makes it a useful indicator of ecosystem health. Thank you all for watching.